In this video, we will learn how hills are formed. If you notice, there is no actual difference between hills and mountains. The only difference is the height. Hills are not as high as mountains. Hills can be both natural as well as man-made. Suppose if you dump sand, mud or earth material at one place, eventually it will turn into a huge stack, which is also a hill. It is called a mound. But in this video, we are talking about natural hills. They are formed by different types of geologic activity. One is faulting. A fault lies at the major boundaries between Earth's tectonic plates. These Earth's tectonic plates are constantly moving and changing the landscape. The Himalayas are a good example. They were once tiny hills. The Himalayas continue to grow because of faulting activity beneath the Earth's surface. Hills can also be created by erosion. Imagine a high mountain. For thousands of years, if it gets eroded due to rain, wind, glacier activity, then definitely mountain's height will reduce, right? This process is called wearing down by erosion. Mountains wear down as water and wind break their rocks into sediments and carry them away. Hills can also be formed due to volcanic eruption. When a volcano erupts, it releases large amount of lava. When this lava gets accumulated at one place, in multiple layers, it turns into plateau. If you see, all plateaus are hills, but not all hills are plateaus. Because plateaus are hills with a flat top. That means these volcanic plateaus are also volcanic hills. Even a sand dune in a desert is a hill. It is called a hill of loose sand. In Antarctica, there are snow dunes that are formed by wind blowing snow into large piles. As a result, they turn into ice hills. So these are some natural ways of hill formation.